Criteria number 14 is to couple and uncouple the trailer. We'll start with the uncoupling first on the rear of the vehicle. Make sure that the vehicle is parked and secured in a flat area and a firm surface. The very first thing we do is turn off the taps to the airlines. By shutting down the air to the trailer, this ensures that the trailer brakes will come on. We then disengage the airlines. What we have here is a, a lock. We need to turn the ring until that notch is on the flat part of the um, of the bracket. If it's around here, it will not open. By putting it here, that notch will slide up the flat part. We push that forward, pull the hose out. Now that's a male connection, this is a female connection. The notch is on the back end of this one. Turn until the notch is on the flat end and pull the ring back. Take the light switch out, holding the metal switch, not by pulling on the lever. We then secure these over here, ensuring that they will not drop into the drive line whilst we're driving. The next thing we do is to lower the legs or the landing gear, unhinge the, the, the handle. We bring this out to the high speed. It's a three speed, that is a low speed. In between that we have a neutral and then a high speed. Wind it clockwise and bring the legs down firm and onto the ground. When the legs get to the ground we can move that into the low speed. Another couple of turns to ensure that we have a firm contact and you all hear the airbags hissing as the weight comes up off the trailer. Secure the handle and then we open the jaws to the turntable. Many different types, some lift up, some move forward. Quite a number of these have a lock on the inside. We lift the lock forward, move the handle forward, pull the handle out and move it forward to lock it open. With the kingpin just clear of the turntable, we're going to lower the airbags, the switch down, and the red light will show that the airbags are lowering. When the air noise is completed, the airbags are fully deflated. We then move the prime mover carefully clear of the trailer, and then raise the airbags again before driving off. Couple up to the trailer, we reverse back to the trailer, checking the alignment with the red guards or even with the side of the trailer. We stop short of the trailer so we can get in between. And we're going to check first the alignment, the height, check to see that the turntable is open, the handle is in the open position. And we're checking for grease and damage to the couplings, and again on the trailer, checking to see that the kingpin is in good order and that the couplings are in good order. What we'll now do is to lower the airbags and move the prime mover to just under the trailer. With the turntable just under the trailer but not locked, we then raise the airbags. Wait till the airbags rise and then continue to reverse under the trailer until locked. If the airbags have lifted the trailer enough to take the weight off the legs, immediately it's locked and do a tug test. If there is still weight on the legs, we will get out, lift the legs up about 
50 millimeters from the ground, and then perform the tug test. With the tug test completed, if necessary, with the legs a little bit off the ground, tug test is successful, we get out, ensure that the handle on the turntable is in the lock position, the trailer is sitting flat on the turntable. From underneath we can also see that the jaws are closed around the kingpin. Either way now it doesn't really matter, we can bring the legs up and we can put the hoses on. As I'm here I'll bring the legs up now. Starting on the low speed when they get easy, we can move to the high speed. Ensure that the legs are fully up, move the handle into the low speed position and secure. Now we're going to put the hoses on and the airline. If unlocked, the hoses should plug straight in. The quarter turn to lock, plug in, check, quarter turn to lock. Then we put the lights in. The key way for the lights is always on the bottom. Turn the taps on to open the air supply to the trailer. Prior to driving away, do a basic inspection of lights, tyres and load.